Good morning, uh, Tuesday. So I'm here in Jacksonville, Florida, but, um, and I don't know who's listening all over the world here. And I know I have listeners that are all over. And, um, but I sit here in the calmness of my house and my upper room. And, um, it's hard to deal with some of the things that are going on around the world. And, you know, praise God, you know, I, I have peace right now. I've been through hurricanes. You know, I'm in Jacksonville, Florida. I've been through hurricanes. I've had to, you know, evacuate and go to other people's houses and stuff. And, and um, but I've never had a destruction in my own home. So I don't, I don't, I don't, I can't relate. But we can't help but just, our heart just hurts. You know, it just hurts for the people. And we're so into, you know, lately we've been thinking about Ukraine and and Israel and all the wars over there and how people are displaced and killed and, you know, starving and all this stuff. And now here we are in the USA where this hurricane went up through the North Carolinas and who knew, you know, like a storm of the, of never. And so, and there are people that are just displaced and they don't know what to do and they don't know where to go. And, but I'm sitting here looking at my Bible and uh, reading my Bible. And I'm going to read you Jeremiah 31, 3, because the Lord has shown this to me several times in my life. It says, the Lord has appeared of old to me saying, yes, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness, I have drawn you. Again, I will build you, and you shall be rebuilt. O virgin of Israel, and you know, we're all, we are all Israel. You shall again be adorned with your tambourines and shall go forth in the dances of those who rejoice. Then I'm going to go here to 31.10. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. This is for everybody. And declare to the isles afar off and say, He who scattered Israel will gather him and keep him as a shepherd does his flock. For the Lord has redeemed Jacob and ransomed him from the hand of one stronger than he. Therefore they shall come and sing in the heights of Zion, streaming to the goodness of the Lord. And then I'm going to go to um, Jeremiah 31 still. 16, it says, Refrain your voice from weeping and your eyes from tears, and your work shall be rewarded, says the Lord. And they shall come back from the land of the enemy. There is hope in your future, says the Lord, that your children shall come back to their own border. Well, you can read this Bible as a textbook, or you can read it through the eyes and the ears and the spirit of the Lord, because he's speaking to you. He's speaking to all of us, and he's an encourager, and, you know, the whole Bible is all about sort of, you know, they say that God is the potter and we are the clay, and he may make a pot and not be happy with it, and he has the right to tear it down, break it down, and, and make a new pot. And so life is not promised, you know, to be this wonderful time. And uh, we have challenges and things are going this way and that way. And But God is always an encourager. And we don't know how to pray, but the Holy Spirit does. And, um, and, and it's hard to look around, you know, and see. And you can't help but listen to the news and see how the car, even our own country is going. And, you know, I've seen... People talking, I've heard people talking about, like, we, our nation has helped other people. Are they helping us now? And, you know, but we are all really, when you think about it, we're not, we really are one. We're in one world, you know. And and so our heart, and we just can't help but our heart just hurt for the people that are suffering. And by the grace of God, you know, go I, really, seriously, I know that. And uh, 
And so we're here to pray and to stand behind and to help and to give and to do what we can to help others, you know. And there's lots of people out there helping and I know they're rebuilding. And when God rebuilds, he rebuilds better than what he had before, you know. And, and we all know that. And so I'm just going to pray a simple prayer. Just say, Lord, we don't know how to pray, but the Holy Spirit does. And so we groan, you know, the, the whole world groans for the sin of the world. But Holy Spirit, you are the answer to our prayer. And you are our Lord. And, and Jesus, you, um, you relate to us. You became man. And you walk this earth. And so you had the same feelings that we do. You said that you had the same hurts. And you came down to save us from our from our own selves. And and uh, to, so that we can see God. And see the Father through you. And so Lord we just know that you are a loving God. And a caring God. And you created us for such a time as this. And your hand is on all the people. And we know that. And so let us not be discouraged, but be encouraged that you will rebuild and you will restore and that you're in the business of healing and restoring. And we thank you for what you're going to do, that you're going to be, your glory is going to be revealed. And Lord, just help us to hurting hearts, Lord, to, to help us to just wait and be patient and do everything that we can to help one another. And I pray for this other hurricane that's coming up even now, Lord, that you will push it back, push it back, push it back, Lord, with so many already hurting and devastation has already come, been. So, Lord, we just pray that this other hurricane coming will get pushed back and that no more lives will be lost and that the ones that see it coming will evacuate and not be try to be brave and know what to do and give them wisdom to know what to do. Give them provision wherever they go. And so we thank you for your love and your mercy and your grace. In Jesus' name, amen. So um, I love you guys, but I can't love you like Jesus does. He loves you so much. And in a world where it seems like there's no love or there's just no mercy, but there is. And we will see the light of the love of the Lord because it's in our hearts. And so we just need to show these people that are hurting, show them Jesus and show them love and just show them mercy and grace because that's what it's all about. So I love you guys and Jesus loves you so much more. I'll see you later. Bye.